Alright, so in this video we're going to talk about logarithms and their connections to exponential, fun uh, exponential forms. And we'll also talk about uh, types of logarithms such as the common logarithm and the natural logarithm. So first off, the basics of logarithms. If we have an expo exponential form, if we have the exponential form b to, uh, let's say to the power x equals y. That's exponential form. We have some number raised to a power is equivalent to some other number. Okay, This part here, b, that's called the base. That's called the base. And this part here, the x, that's the exponent. Okay. In logarithmic form here, in logarithmic form, we say the logarithm with a base b, there's our base, of y equals x, the value of the exponent. So our base here is b, there's our base and our exponent is x. So if I said to, said to you to convert this into logarithmic form, let's say we choose 4 to the third, which is 64. In logarithmic form, so in logarithmic form, That would be the log, by the way, if I say log, that means logarithm. If I say the log of base 4 of the value 64, that's equivalent to 3. The logarithm with base 4 of 64 is equivalent to this exponent. Okay? Similarly, if, I did, if we did something like, say, um, 5 to the negative 2, that's 1 over 25. That would be, in logarithmic form, the log with a base of 5 of 1 25th is equal to negative 2. The big thing here to note and to remember is that a logarithm is just an exponent. So don't freak out about um, you know, I don't understand what this logarithm stuff is. It's just an exponent, okay? It's just an exponent. Um, so let's let's talk about uh, evaluating some logarithms here, okay? All right. If I were to say, if I say we have a log, let's say with a base of 2 of, let's go with, 64. Well, if we were to evaluate log base 2 of 64, what we have to think about is 2 raised to what power gives us 64? Well, it turns out 64 is a power of 2. 64 is really 2 to the 6th. So, 2 to the 6th power is 64. So the log base 2 of 64 is 6. Well, what about this other one? If I say the log with base 3 of 1 third, what value is that? We have to think to ourselves, we have to think to ourselves, 3 to what power gives us 1 third? Well, 1 third is the same thing as 3 to the negative 1. So 3 raised to the negative first power is 1 third. Okay? So that's how to evaluate some of these logarithms and convert between exponential and logarithmic uh, form. Okay? Uh, a couple properties 
of logarithms here that, that hold true. A couple of the basic properties of logarithms that hold true. If we take, if we say uh, our value of b, our base, is greater than zero, zero and b is not 1, and let's, let's let x be a real number, then there, there's going to be four statements that are, that are true. Um, the log with a base b of 1 is 0. If you take a, a, a base and raise it to 0, we'll always get 1. All right, so that's one property. There's four properties here. Right, okay, if we take the log base b of b, that's one. b to the first power is just b. If we look at the next property, log with a base b of b raised to the x power, that's going to give you x. b to the x power is equal to b to the x power. Um, something also that's interesting about exponential and logarithmic functions, uh, which we'll talk about in, a, in another video, exponential and logarithmic functions are inverses of each other, so they essentially undo each other. So if we take the log of an exponential, a log with the same base of an exponential um, function, that, go, that the logarithm and the base of the exponent goes away and you're left with x. And then the last part, if we have our base b raised to the log with base b of x, that's going to give you x as well. If we take the value of b and raise it to a log with the same base um, of x, we'll take, that will give you x as well. Okay? Um, there's something in logarithms called a common logarithm. Okay? Common logarithms uh, have a base of 10. So common logarithms So common logarithms have a base 10 principle. So instead of saying, um, say we have 10 to the third is 1,000, instead of saying, log base 10 of 1,000 equals 3. We all, all we write is log of 1,000 equals 3. We assume the base here we assume the base to be 10. Okay, so whenever we have a base that's 10 we could skip writing the base here. If the base is something other than 10, um, we have to write it. There's one other case here where we can write it a little differently. Um, where we can write it a little differently. So that's converting base 10 into a common logarithm. Uh, if we were to evaluate uh, a common logarithm, let's say we have the common log of 1 over 100. What's that? Well, it's a common logarithm, so we have to think 10 to what power equals 1 over 100. Well, 1 over 100 is also 10 to the negative 2. So 10 to the negative second power is 1 over 100. Okay, so log of 1 over 100 is negative 2. Right. And... Um, the same properties that I outlined earlier, um, those, those four properties of logarithms uh, also hold true uh, as well for common logarithms as well. And then to end, um, we'll talk about another type of logarithm. It's called natural logarithm. Okay, and natural logarithms. They have a base of e, and they're written with 
ln instead of the log of e. Okay? So whenever we see ln, that's a natural logarithm, that's a logarithm that has a base of e. And the same properties um, outlined with logarithms also apply to natural logarithms. Um, so let's look at um, some logarithmic expressions here. Let's look at some natural logarithmic expressions. Let's say we have uh, our s to evaluate. Let's, let's actually, before we do evaluating, let's actually do um, some conversions here. If we say e to the third, is about uh, 20.8 or 20.1. How we can how we write that? We say the common log or the natural log logarithm with base e of 20.1 is three. This 20.1 is rounded in a calculator. Okay, that's how you would would attack that. And then evaluating these logarithms. Let's say we have the natural log, the natural log of, uh, let's say, negative 5, ln of negative 5. The nice thing about natural logs is um, there's a, a button in your calculator that will give you the natural log. Now, it's a LN button in the TI-84. It's right under the button that says LOG next to the 7, so it's right underneath that. It's 2 up on the left, on the left here. If you say LN of negative 5 and hit enter, you will get uh, an error, which means it's undefined, which is okay which is okay. If we said, say, what's the ln natural log of 4? We go ln of 4, and we get about 1.39. If we did say, what's the natural log of e to the third? Well, if we take the natural log of, some, of a base e here, of e raised to the third power, the nice thing is, the ln and the e's cancel out, and you're left with 3. That same property principle holds true with uh, common logarithms and logarithms in general. Right, so those are the basics. That's the basics of logarithms and how to convert between them, the different types of logarithms, um, and how they're, how they're used. The big thing is natural or, or logarithms in general, they are just exponents, okay? They are just exponents. Don't freak out over them. Um, they're just exponents. And uh, in the next video, we'll talk about graphs of uh, logarithmic functions. Um, so thank you for watching. Have a great day.